Christopher, thanks very much for taking the time to show us this uh, piece of kit. I understand that this is the uh, LRAB model deployed by uh, security teams. Can you tell us a bit about it, please? Sure, Graham. Uh, thank you for, for getting the chance to be here. And like you said, I, I work for LRAB. It's a company based in San Diego, in, in California, in the States. And uh, LRAD is basically stands for Long Range Acoustic Devices, and also known as hailers, uh, because you can get the attention of people on really, really far distances. And uh, key thing, working security is of course communication, and establish intent is one of the key things for the security teams also in the beginning, uh, to decide are you facing a threat or, or is this something that you can just let be, uh, basically. Uh, Elra, this unit we have in front is called the 450 XL. Uh, it's good for the security team, teams because it's quite small. It only weighs 16.8 uh, kilos. It's quite easy to handle from the size, as you see. Uh, it can go up to 146 decibels A, which gave me, give, gives us the capability to operationally target things 500 meters out at the level of 88 decibels A. And to give you an understanding of that, uh, we're basically talking between 60 to 65 decibels right now. So 88 would be significantly higher than the sound of a, of a small vessel running on its outboard engines. Okay. So you would be heard definitely there. Right. So um, Artemis, our small fast boat, is 700 uh, meters away. We've just sent the first of the warnings uh, to uh, Artemis um, and uh, we've got a camera on the boat which will uh, pick up the sound levels that we got there. I mean, it's just so clear. You think the guy's sitting in the boat with you. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. The use case specifically for LRAD is about communication. Right. Um, so you can't warn a suicide bomber away from your ship, but you can uh, use it to uh, to deter someone that isn't a suicide bomber by communicating with them uh, at some uh, at some distance. You're completely right, Graham, because. Uh, a big issue that you have in situations like this is to one establish the intent and, and identify is this a threat for, for me. I can take it from, from handling the refugees in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, the problem they have there is when they approach uh, these small vessels, quite bad vessels, uh, often the refugees get so excited so they start to move maybe to one side of the vessel and it just goes around and then you have suddenly everyone in the sea. Then they use the hailer basically to tell them on five, six hundred meters that uh, please sit tight on the boat, don't start to move on the boat uh, and we will pick up you and help you. Uh, so you're completely right, it's, it's not a weapon in any way to, to push away like, like, uh, like if you have armed piracy coming against you. It's, it's more about identifying them and then get away of maybe the, the parts, or the innocent parts that, that shouldn't be there in that area and then you buy time. If you can do that at 1,000 meters, 500 meters, uh, the security officer can think of the next step and, and be more uh, safe in his rules of engagement. When we talk to, uh, to users, they, they say, well, uh, you know, LRAD is, uh, um, is, is terrible as a sonic weapon and that, um, yeah. you know, effectively the, the, the bad guys can put their things in their ears and yeah. uh, come up and attack the operator. Um, can you just um, talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, this is a complete misunderstanding. Nothing about this thing is, is sonic, first of all. We work in the range of, of 200 to 8,000 hertz with our equipment. Uh, and that is basically where we have uh, human voice. Uh, so we're not targeting in, in sonic way any, anything in, in your body or it wouldn't make you feel uncomfortable in your interiors or, or, or stuff like that. This sonic thing is, is uh, yes, yes, false. Uh, unfortunately, that is something that uh, by, by mistake then has been, been spread around uh, and, and it's of course quite cool working with sound to hear, to hear the term sonic but that's not true. Krista, thanks very much for, for talking about uh, right. this. Uh, I'm slightly uh, curious about this piece of equipment. Can you tell me a bit about that please? Exactly. Um, this is a little bit uh, maybe what's coming up for us that probably will be big for Elrod. Uh, it's what we call mass notification. And, and these systems are omnidirectional. So these direct sound 360 degrees around the horizon. Uh, this is more for, for keeping a larger area of population informed and, and say that you go into an area with these fishing boats that we were discussing, you could basically send a message that goes around instead of being on one side of a vessel pointing at some certain persons. Here will, you will reach the crowd that is uh, 
surrounding uh, your vessel or the area where you need to be doing your operations. Okay, so um, what are my initial impressions of the LRAD? Well, you're different here. It's very clear that this isn't a sonic uh, cannon. It's, it, it has a very specific use case, which is to warn people using voice primary before uh, you open fire. And, and you can't deter a suicide bomber. You can't necessarily deter a, a pirate from coming to attack you. But, but you can start to sort the wheat from the, the chaff, where people who don't have those intentions can be deterred from, uh, from coming towards the vessel. One of the main problems, and as we've seen in our research and development, it is extremely difficult to tell the difference between the good guys and the bad guys. Um, so anything that you can do to try and discern the, uh, the two is, uh, is worth doing. My impression is that you would buy LRAD if you were concerned that you didn't want to, to open fire on, on an innocent party and uh, you wanted to build as big a uh, case as you possibly could to prevent that from, uh, from happening. If your use case is um, you want something that is a uh, non-lethal substitute for a weapon, LRAD's not the thing for you.